primary soil cultivation. There are different solutions. What is used a lot is instead of deep plowing is different variants of a chisel plow. Some people call it uh, a rigid tine cultivator or uh, also things like a para grubber are used. Actually all of these implements are used to loosen the soil a bit and to avoid compaction. Another one would be shallow plowing. Shallow plowing could be a nice combination because it combines the advantages of working under your crop residues and weeds, but still it's, it's quite shallow. With your standard weed control management, you can get quite far in your weed control, but with some adaptations, I think. Uh, for one, the topsoil will get a little bit more compacted, so you don't have so much loose soil to work in. That will mean that uh, one important implement in, in uh, weed control, that's the harrow, will not work optimal if you, if you have the same setting. So you have to be, uh, probably use a little bit more aggressive setting for weed control uh, when you don't plow. Specific challenges stay uh, in crops that, have, that need a very good seedbed preparation, that, need, that are, have very fine seeds and that also that don't have a big competition with weeds in the beginning. So carrots, onions uh, and crops like that who are, uh, have a slow emergence and have very low competition in the early stage. You need to do more and still it might use some extra hand labor hours. Some countries tried also to destroy a grass clover by let's say hoeing it superficially, uh, let's say two to three centimeters, and then with a roll behind it, uh, loosening the soil and loosening the crop. But you need good weather for that. Clods have to dry out. Maybe some farmers would choose, okay, if I, I have my grass clover crop, maybe on that moment I still can plow. For the rest, I get rid of the plowing. So it's also uh, possible that you have a hybrid of one year plowing for the grass clover and then don't plow for the rest of the crop. So that's also a possibility. If you don't plow or if you don't have an intensive soil cultivation, then how do you sow? Because you have a lot of crop residues. The sowing machine is clogging, can be clogging uh, with crop residues. So there are also different solutions for that, practical solutions. You have machines that just push away uh, the, the crop residues and then uh, are seeding in, in a good seed bed or also machines that push away this crop residues and have a little bit of cultivation in, in a strip and then sow in it. Whether it's a problem or not depends on your crop. So the mineralization is there but it starts later. If you have an early crop, an early developing crop, then you can get into a problem with shortage of nitrogen. So you have to adapt probably a little bit your uh, fertilization, use some nitrogen rich fertilization, maybe slurry or maybe other commercial projects what you can use. But it's only a little bit because the difference is not so big. It's only 15 kilograms of nitrogen extra that you have to give just for the start. When you go over to reduce tillage also Pay very much attention on soil compaction, on your machinery, on your timing, not going on the, on the soil if it's too wet. In the Netherlands we have used a special solution for that. We use a, a controlled traffic system together with uh, reduced tillage. That means that with GPS steered tractors we all the time drive exactly on the same, same traffic lanes, also with harvesting. So the soil is only compacted on the traffic lanes and between the traffic lanes the soil is not touched anymore. And that I think that could greatly help uh, to make these reduced tillage systems better applicable for different circumstances. Mm -hmm.